Good morning. My name is Steve Powers. I'm with DR McNatty and Associates. Today we're going to take a moment to talk about uh, the Primavera Unifier uh, enterprise-wide uh, project portfolio system. We're going to be showing exactly within the product uh, the ability to change uh, user-defined dashboards. And we'll also then take uh, a moment to uh, show you information uh, about the uh, at more advanced user dashboards. These may uh, require some level of customization outside of the Unifier product, but not difficult uh, uh, with the right skill set to accomplish. The third area is going to be showing uh, some other dashboards that uh, will use more of a uh, access point to multiple systems, not just within Unifier. These allow for us to take central uh, databases, be able to use our dashboard system uh, on a more global scale, and be able to present those for both inward-facing uh, executive-level dashboards and being able to maybe uh, use them uh, outside uh, in a more public-facing uh, dashboard for uh, maybe tracking of information that the public should also be able to uh, look at. Our example here will be uh, uh, LA Metro where they have bonding uh, uh, type issues and the public, uh, the voting community needs to be able to see uh, that information also. Here's a project level dashboard snapshot. Uh, it has a four uh, level hierarchical uh, view uh, of the system uh, as you can see uh, in this area of the dashboard. We're looking at the specific uh, project level dashboard here. I'm now going to uh, march into the actual online system uh, of our demo system that we host here at DR McNatty uh, and being able to show you uh, how to get to this screen uh, and the options that are available. I've logged in uh, to this project dashboard uh, this one example in our demo system is the New York uh, City area. I've logged into one specific project, which is this uh, uh, commercial uh, office uh, edition, phase three. And here I have a very simple dashboard at the user level with different tabs that I can go into that have been defined. To edit the dashboard, if you have the right administrative and user rights, you would hit edit and be able to simply go into the dashboard uh, detail. Again, we have these tabs set up in the current demo system. And over here are the standard templates uh, tabs that you have as options to be able to make changes to these if you uh, uh, would like to. This level of detail uh, can be uh, incorporating in standard uh, bar charts and uh, different uh, types of like pie charts and things like that or actual data uh, information that you would need to. You can navigate by moving these uh, sections uh, up and down and organizing them in the fashion that you would like. You can even uh, go ahead and put in uh, images of the actual uh, construction site uh, just for nice visualization which I have done here. And to navigate through these, you know, you have whatever you have established uh, in both the executive area and maybe the operations project management area. Very simple within the uh, standard UDR to define these. I'm now going to go over and show a few other um, examples uh, of other dashboards that have been developed over time for other clients. These will give you some ideas of what you could accomplish uh, with some very simple skills within Unifier. And this is also showing advanced level skills if you needed to bring in uh, more sophistication. Our third area is going to be showing uh, the centralized, uh, more complex dashboards which we have developed. One of these will be showing things that actually came over uh, from the uh, uh, LA Metro uh, in California uh, environment with dashboards. Here again, uh, we went and developed 
a uh, complete workflow for security reasons and authorization of the data being accurate before it's published out to the general public. I hope you uh, had some uh, uh, enjoyable time here today. Uh, please understand that we do have other recordings, both as tech tips and as white papers, that you can uh, access through our website. We also have information there about uh, other Primavera products that we've supported for many years, uh, P6 for scheduling and, of course, uh, contract uh, management. Um, so please visit our website, look for tech tips. We have white papers, and we do have a monthly newsletter if you'd like to uh, uh, register for that. Thanks again. This is Steve Powers. Take care.